busy is no different from what I've been doing my whole life. My parents are strict. I've been in quarantine my whole life. So this is no different. Mami, yo quiero ver, quiero ver por qué te extraño. No me dice nada porque casi ya no hablamos. ¿Dónde estás? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new. Oh, my God, y'all. I have not said that in so long. I have not filmed. I look a mess. I did my own eyebrows. Like, your girl is that bored that I did my makeup, my own eyebrows. Usually, CC Jennifer does them for me. So, they're looking a little rough, a little uneven, a little fat. I'm just going to do a sit-down video to talk about what's going on with me, how the coronavirus has affected the people around me you know school stuff like that it has given me like major comfort to hear actual people talking about their experience what's actually going on and not the actual news i really do feel like the news just wants people to panic the news just want to blow things up so they can actually get people to watch it and get people to read the articles so i'm just gonna share how it's affecting me especially because i am a teenager who's in school public school which i feel like a lot of you guys can relate and a lot of the videos i've been watching it comes from like people that are older you know I try not to get stirred up into all the panic and stuff so i'm not gonna be sharing like all these facts and stuff because i really don't fucking know i don't want to know i will be sharing my own opinions and stuff so if you don't agree with them then feel free to leave your opinion down below but anyways let's get started i'm gonna just start off with the very beginning i really don't even remember how i heard about the coronavirus or how i actually like was like damn this shit is going on i'm pretty sure it was facebook because facebook is literally my newspaper if you say facebook is for old people you clearly don't live in chicago because that shit is buzzing that shit is like more buzzing than instagram and snapchat so i'm pretty sure i heard about it on facebook um i really didn't think it was a big deal the reason why i learned it was a big deal is because i started watching documentaries and i watch documentaries i'm like obsessed with watching them i normally only watch like serial killer documentaries kidnapping documentaries and stuff but i heard about this thing and i was like if they made a whole video about it it must be interesting so i watched it and i was like oh shit what the fuck like this shit is like serious people are over here building new hospitals in china there's dead people on the waiting room there's like all this other stuff i'm not gonna lie that kind of made me panic a little bit about all these news reporters going missing that were trying to expose the virus people that were recording the hospitals and stuff were going missing so i was like kind of scared so i would tell my classmates like oh did you hear about this and they'll be like no i didn't girl and i was like girl watch this video let me send you the link because i was like i cannot be the only one that's like starting to panic a little bit you know and then it ended up being a little bit more popular on facebook and just like social media in general people were like telling you to be safe people were saying that it was spreading and stuff like that i was still not freaking out because i was like nothing's being done you know like not even my teachers were mentioning it and nobody was telling us anything. I actually remember there was this one post that said schools would be closed due to the coronavirus. And then our teacher told us that it was not true, that school would be in session and that they really doubt if they will close. And then like literally a week later, they closed. They told us we will be back March 31st, which is literally in a week. So we will be off for two weeks and then we'll go back for a few days and then spring break, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe they would have taken away our spring break. I'm not really sure sure but we heard in the news yesterday that we will actually be off until april 21st some people even until may 1st so i'm sorry i look a mess you guys but i actually forgot to tell you guys that cps students actually had a strike in like october i think so we were off for two weeks then so we already skipped so much school and now we're skipping a whole month and a half i really don't know what the state what the government what cps is gonna do to make this up to you know get everything done because it just really seems like a mess i really don't know how they're gonna pull this off it just kills me to not know and it's just like i shouldn't be overthinking it you know i should just go with the flow but it's just hard and it's just so crazy because there's people that need to take their tests for ib there's people that need to take their um act sat oh my god i always get so confused with that literally by the time we go back as a senior i have to decide may 1st what college i want to go to and it's just like i wanted to talk about it with my teachers i wanted to talk about it with my counselor and i already know the first week we go back is going to be so crazy all the teachers were so quick to give us homework i swear to god the day they closed schools they were already posting all these assignments but then the next morning they ended up telling us that they legally cannot give us homework just because people's situations they don't know how many people have internet access and it's just not fair there's thirteen thousand students in cps that 
are homeless, so therefore they cannot give us homework. So I'm like, she don't pay, like, say less, the fuck? But it actually made me think about all those 13,000 people that don't have a home. The people that live in a toxic household, people that don't have stuff to eat, including my home situation. I'm not gonna stay here and say my home situation is bad because it's really not. A girl has food, a girl is blessed, and I'm just really grateful. But as y'all already know, my mom is strict, y'all. So I cannot go out. And I know it's advice to not go out, but my friends still going out. They're going out to eat or whatever. They're going out to play soccer, hang out with their friends. So, as a person who has had strict parents, I know what it's like to stay home, but it's like when you're ordered to stay home, it does not feel the same. It's just like the homebody and you does not want to be a homebody no more. I never really went out anyways, but it's just like, school for me was like literally my only escape. It was the only way I could get out the house. School is the only thing I'm really good at, so it's just like to not be in school for a whole month, especially my senior year. I literally only have three months left of school, so it's like these three months were gonna be like last memories I was gonna have with my friends, the last three months of senior year, and it's just like I'm being robbed from those three months. Once I go back, I only have a month and a half, and it's just like that month and a half is gonna be so crazy. I know a lot of seniors are being like dramatic to the lower classmen or to people who already graduated. They're like, prom is not a big deal, graduation is not a big deal deal like just be happy that you're out or whatever but y'all yeah, prom is a big deal because a bitch like me already bought my fucking dress so if prom gets canceled what the fuck am i gonna do with a literally a 600 dollars dress for nothing you know as of now prom has not been canceled or graduation but it's literally like new things are being canceled every single day anytime now i feel like they're gonna be able to cancel it and i know it's for our health but it really sucks it really freaking sucks like i actually kind of bummed i can't imagine not graduating on stage with my friends because of this motherfucking virus like i want those memories i don't want my fucking diploma mailed to me like if i wanted my diploma to be mailed to me i would have graduated early go to alternative school or something but besides that the way the coronavirus has affected me is not really all that different my parents are still going to work my family is not panicking we're not hoarding food we're not going to the supermarket and like buying all this toilet paper all this food which i'm really like impressed about and i'm really proud of my parents for not freaking out and you know taking food away from older people taking food from the people that really need it a lot of people are like oh my god we need to take care of the older people like we need to make sure they are safe we need to make sure we don't put them in risk but then they're over here taking all this food from them when older people can't really go to the grocery store just like oh my god i'm gonna go you know some people need them to drive them to the grocery store some people just need to find resources to get to the actual grocery store and people who can just go whenever are taking away all the food and stuff so that's just pretty dumb and people over here buying stuff that expires like so soon um my family actually went to the grocery store just to you know buy the normal amount of food and we could not find no cereal we could not find no water we couldn't find no beans or no rice and rice and beans is the only thing i eat but we did not freak out we knew stuff was gonna restock so we just went like a few days later but there was a huge line of people waiting for water there was people being so rude to like me and so rude to like the people working there they're like oh my god go through go to the back and find this go to the back and find that like it's never that serious the only reason why there's not a lot of food is because of people like y'all so as soon as i stopped recording this video the news came on and chicago is officially on lockdown i really wouldn't consider it a lockdown because there's actually other other places where they are actually having a lockdown we're still able to go to, to the grocery store we're still able to go to the pharmacist and like to walk your pet or whatever so we're not like an official lockdown where nobody can leave their house at all but they are taking like precaution and really try to minimize the people that are going out and stuff so even though it's not like an official lockdown i still find that so crazy the only thing i would say that was kind of like impulsive of me i bought like a month were the food supplies for my cats but the cat stuff really wasn't ran through like there was a lot of food there was a lot of stuff i bought three boxes of food for them which lasts them a month and i know that might seem like a lot but either way i was gonna have to buy it eventually and cat food does not expire for like three years two years i made sure there was still enough food for the cats um i really just wanted my cats to be safe and for them to eat y'all because my cats do not understand what's going on if they run out of food they wouldn't understand why there's no food you know what i've been doing to keep busy is no different food i've been doing my whole life my parents are strict i've been in quarantine my whole life so this is no different but what i've been doing is basically just watch all american all american came out with season two on netflix so i've been watching that i've been watching youtube of course all these youtubers are taking um 
the advantage that a lot of people are home to make videos and even though that's like a good thing it has not been motivation enough for me to post just because i try to remain as peaceful as i can just because a peaceful mind equals a peaceful life but sometimes it does get to me and it's just like well man like life changed so fast in only three months like what can happen in six months eight months and of course i really hope it's for the better and not for the worst but we just have to see. I really want to get it back on my YouTube grind and to film videos. Just because that's what I enjoy doing. So if you guys have any YouTube video ideas, please let me know down below. Um, preferably stuff I can do at home because the girl does not go out. And one thing I would say I'm really grateful for about YouTube, and I don't mean to make this sound bad, but I can do this at home. It does pay me. So if my parents do get laid off work, it's just like I get to, you know, help them out a little bit. Make videos to make money and just, you know, maybe take some stress off them if things do get really bad. Please be nice to each other. Please don't take this as an opportunity to be racist, to spread hate. If anything, all we need right now is love. All we need right now is to spread peace. All we need right now is to, you know, unite as a community and help each other out. Don't be selfish. Don't be hoarding food. Don't be racist. Don't be judgmental. Don't be, don't be nothing, okay? Don't be nothing but a good person. Take this opportunity to really reflect on your life, reflect on your actions, reflect how you act upon other people. And I really do pray for every single one of you guys who watch my videos. Even if you don't watch my videos and you're a hater, I still pray for you. I pray for those who have businesses, especially people who like sell Chinese food and stuff like that because a lot of people are being so ignorant. But anyways, I'm just going to end this video here. I do not want to make this too long just because it is pretty boring and a lot of people are not going to want to watch it. It's really interesting to hear you guys' experience, you guys' feedback. So please let me know down below how you guys been, how you guys been keeping safe just stuff like that tell me anything okay your girl wants to know i love you guys be safe wash your hands i love you guys and i will catch you guys in a video pretty soon so make sure to leave me down any video ideas i love you and i'll catch your beautiful face in my next video